Okay, in this lesson, we're going to look at the application tab and how we can use it to inspect cookies and local storage. All right, so you remember before we did some styling, and I'll go ahead and add a little bit of styling to this. Medium aquamarine, of course, good choice. And then when I refresh this, that styling goes away, but this actual to-do item stayed here. So how did they achieve that? Well, first let's add a couple more to-dos. Go to work, live fulfilling life, spelled wrong of course, and then die. All my to-dos in one place. So. If I refresh this again, this actually also stays here. So how is that happening? Well, they're actually using local storage in this particular app to make that work. So let's bring up DevTools, Command Option I or Control Shift I on Windows. And I'm going to go to the Applications tab. If I look in here, there's this item called Local Storage, and then it has the URL of my site. So when I click that, I can see in here, I actually have a JSON object that has all the information that I typed into the to-do list. So one quick tip, if you have a JSON object and you want to look at it a little bit better, I'm going to copy that. I'll paste it into the console and press enter. And now that actually gives me a tree-like view of the to-dos. And I can take a look at all of the different things. I might want to skip number three, the part about dying, but hey, that's life, baby. So local storage is actually kind of a new feature of HTML5, but back in the old days, we used to use cookies for this sort of thing. So you can also look at the cookies for this particular site. And it looks like they have Google Analytics on here. That's the GA. And it has a bunch of values in here as well. You can also go ahead and change these values very easily. Okay, the Applications tab actually does a couple other things, but I find the local storage and cookies to be the absolute most useful part of it. 